the food they eat and the food their children eat. So we're still getting comments about my report on pink slime that aired a few weeks ago. Here's an update. Everybody loves a nice juicy burger hot off the grill. But the idea of ammonia in our meat? Pink slime is the not so flattering nickname for a ground beef extender that's treated with ammonium hydroxide. It's served in local schools and fast food restaurants and it's sold in local grocery stores. Reaction to the ammonium hydroxide process seems to fall into two categories. No big deal at this microbiology lab at the University of Cincinnati, where scientists deal with all kinds of compounds. Dan Hassett is a professor of molecular genetics and biochemistry. Ammonium hydroxide, amongst at least 40 to 50 other processes, is a food preservative. The, the, the compound is used at very low concentrations, typically 1 to 1,000 to 1 in 500 uh, per gram of whatever you use, whether it's lettuce, whether it's meat, whether it's poultry, whatever you're preserving, to keep that, that agent, say meat, for a longer period of time. The ammonium hydroxide process, invented to make use of beef trimmings and to kill E. coli and salmonella, is approved by the USDA and FDA. I'm not a vegetarian. I love my, my beef. I love my poultry. I love my pork. I'm not concerned about that at all because I know that our FDA um, is very good at what they do. On the other hand, Lauren Nemus of the Nutrition Council believes safety should not be our only concern. As a dietitian, I want people to eat less ground beef, whether they buy it from a butcher, whether they're getting it in a fast food burger, or whether they're going and getting it served at a school lunch. Um, you know, ground beef is a major source of saturated fat in our diet, and while it does provide vitamins and protein, I think there are healthier choices for people to be getting these, this protein. As for the product celebrity chef Jamie Oliver calls pink slime, which is part of ground beef served in schools and fast food restaurants, Nima says buyer beware. You're putting your health in the hands of the food industry, whose primary objective in a capitalistic society is to make a profit. They're not there to protect your health. That is your job as a consumer. Both Dr. Hassett and Lauren Nemus agree on one thing for food safety. When you cook ground beef, cook it thoroughly. Nemus recommends buying round steak from a butcher you know and grinding it yourself or asking the butcher to grind it for you. That way, you know what's in it.